political side of gaming too much. I really don't like talking about it. But uh, I don't. I don't like talking about it at all. But I, I, it's come to the point where I just watched the ABC video and with featuring Anita, and uh, it it really bothered me. It really fucking bothered me. Um, they're making gamers to be very like very all gamers she's all gamers are judging not some all and it, it, it blows my mind so i just want to talk about a couple of things off the dome of course i don't have anything written down i should have written shit down and put off to the side or something but uh i don't know man she gets on my nerves <laughs> i'm not gonna bash her in this video i'm just gonna because if i bash her i feel like this is just an excuse to bash somebody and i don't want anybody getting offended um, I made a video before talking about women in video games, and if you say girls or more women should be in video games, you need to shut the fuck up. And I still stand by every word I say in that video. But this Anita Shitta, I'm gonna call her Shitta for the rest of this video. I'm trying not to bash her, I'm just getting my words right. She she irks me, man. She, she, she makes it seem that that, that men are the dominant side of gaming. Manpower, men unite. When that's completely false. Um, women make up half of the entire gaming industry. They make up exactly half, maybe even more than half. And there was actually a part in the ABC video where Anita says that men believe that gaming is for men by men, which is completely and utterly false. It is completely false. You have a ton of women in video games who develop games, develop games, you know? A lot of female developers, so I don't know where the fuck she's getting her facts from. I don't know at all. It's fucking ridiculous. And, uh, it's getting to the point where I think that she's just here. She's just making up shit like that to gain more attention. People's gonna call her out, and she's gonna get more money off of it. And it's, it's fucking ridiculous. It is. How can you say such an ignorant comment? Alright, women make up half of the gaming industry. You said it yourself. But yet you still have to make ignorant comments like that? Like, shut the fuck up, bitch. I don't know, guys. She really pisses me off. Everything she's saying is a complete and utter lie. She's bashing all gamers, making all gamers, yes, you, seem like a misogynist fuckface if you're a guy. And if you're a woman, she believes that you get offended off of everything. And the thing that bothers me the most is the fact that women, women disagree with her. Shit ton, every, if you go on Twitter, women are calling her out. YouTube, women are calling her out. Women especially, they're saying that, oh, I want you to debate me. And Netta has never debated anybody face to face. And it's like, God, if she debates anybody, she's gonna get fucking destroyed, demolished, obliterated. Like, it, it blows my mind and she will never debate somebody. She will never will. You know, women are... She's not she nobody elected her the representative of women emotions when it comes to gaming I don't know who the fuck she thinks she's talking for or thinks that she's defending nobody wants her at Nobody fucking wants you. Why are you just wasting people's time with this bullshit? That's all it is. It's bullshit. You know women disagree with you. You know women disagree with you So then why are you still doing it for? We all know why because you get paid off of all of this shit you know you do. You're the more attention you get, the more people know who you are. You get off on this shit. You know you do. Don't act like you're fighting for women's rights when women everywhere are disagreeing with you. W women, women make up half of the gaming industry. So who are you to say that they're all getting offended? Have you talked to every fucking woman? Have you talked to every girl who plays video games? Everyone who has a vagina, have you talked to them? You haven't. So, it's, I don't understand why she exists. I don't. I don't. In the ABC video, she also said that she's been getting death threats. She's been getting, you know, um, harassed online as well. Everybody's attacking her. She's the target of negativity. I want to speak on that for a second as well. Gaming is a multi-billion dollar business. Multi-billion dollar business. It's part of our culture now. You know, uh, gaming is a part of our culture now. It's bigger than movies. The movie business is bigger than the music industry. That's a fact. That's not an opinion. It's a fact. Look it up yourself. 
multi-billion dollar business. So when you come out of fucking nowhere, when you come out of the fucking dirt you came from, with fucking worms all in your mouth and shit, like a fucking zombie who belongs to Resident Evil, you came out of nowhere, and you're judging everybody who plays video games. What the fuck did you expect to happen, huh? You expect women hold hands side by side, arm in arm. We will march to the center of all these gaming developers and we will have change. Change in this multi billion dollar business. And me, Shiva Sharkisha, shall be in the middle, leading the force. I am the new Martin Luther King. We will change the world of gaming. All you have is stupid fuck faces behind you who can't think for them fucking selves. You're using your own fan base to get paid off of this. You know you get off on this. You know you do. And it's a multi billion dollar business. So when you come out of nowhere and you start offending everybody, of course people are gonna start attacking you. Billions of people play video games. You offended billions of people. What the fuck did you expect? I don't understand. Oh my god. Everybody's attacking me. Everybody said to be death threats, nobody wants to be alive anymore. Because you offend everybody, you make gamers seem like little fucking trolls in their basement. Attacking women. Seriously, there was also a section where a girl goes in, a section of the ABC video, sorry, that a girl starts playing Counter-Strike and gets starts getting harassed by a bunch of men. If that, I understand that's probably annoying for women. I, that I understand. But at the same time, you have women understand it's the internet. That's why they keep playing these games. It's the internet. I have, at this present moment, I have, I have 54 subscribers on my YouTube channel. At this moment. 54 subs. Th I, I appreciate every one of you, by the way. If, and some of them, a lot of people actually, who not even subscribed to my channel, attacked me. And I'm not even that big. They've, they've, they've said all um they've said very racist things about me he said a lot of bad things they disagree with a lot of shit i said but the thing is it's the internet and that shit happens literally all the time all the time no matter what platform you're on if you're on your fucking tablet just on facebook and you enter these public areas people attack you People say so much negative shit, but it's the internet, and people know that that type of shit happens. Oh my god, everybody's attacking me. No shit, you're offending everybody. You're judging everybody. You're making everybody seem like a fucking troll. What is the matter with you? What is the matter with you? Like, uh, there's just so much shit that bothers me about it, man. I don't know why she even exists at this point. She's doing it for money. I know. I keep asking myself why she exists, but I know why she exists, and that's to get paid. Like, and it's like, people should say something if they don't like it. Like, I wasn't going to make this video at first, but then I saw Alpha Omega Sin's video, which I'll have in the description below, as well as the ABC and Netta video. And like, like I, because I didn't know anything about this person. I, I, I've heard a few stories online. I need a Sharkeisha. I'm shit a shark kisses. I'm sorry, shit a shark keys. And uh I didn't know who she was at first and then I didn't care. But then I saw one of Alpha Mega Sin's videos saying, Oh, she called me out on Twitter. I'm like, hmm, okay. And I saw he made a previous video saying um his opinion on APC and then Netta Shark Keisha. And it's like I'm saying Shark Keisha, I'm aware. Shark Keisha! You all seen that video. But uh yeah, and I'm like, okay, so that's when I actually got educated on who Annetta is. I watched the ABC video, it's like, and now I'm just speaking my opinion on it. It's like, now I just can't avoid it. I have a small voice on YouTube, and it's like, I just want to give my two cents on this. I don't want her to be representing a woman, representative of women. I want, if, if there is a representative of anything, which there shouldn't be, but if there ever is, I don't want her fucking... With the stupid shit she says representing anything except for the fucking pile of shit near a garbage can outside. That's the only thing she should be representing. Uh, but tell me what you guys think. I, this is 10 minutes and I don't want this to be too long. I don't agree with Anita at all. I don't. She's obviously just doing this to get paid. She's doing it to gain attention. She's not doing it for anybody. She's just doing it for herself. That's all the time I have, folks. I'm going to be out of here. I got a couple videos to render. I'm going to be explaining why I... Haven't been uploading that much, you know.
I have a couple links in the description. Check those out. ABC, Alpha Omega Sin. On my video talking about women and video games. That will also be uh, random fucking hiccup in a burp combo. I hate them. When, I, when you have to take a when you're about to burp and you're about to let it out, but then a hiccup comes up, it's like uh, 